Hey, I'm Mike, and this is Hot Reviews. Today on Hot Reviews, I'll be reviewing some sauces from Meow That's Hot. They're from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. So the first sauce I'm gonna try here is called Fire Kitty. That cat is on fire, but it's still having a great time. For ingredients, it has wine vinegar, apples, albino peppers, garlic, dried chili pepper, and some other stuff. Smells really good. You can smell the apple, the jalapeno, and the garlic. This is a real good tasting sauce. It has just the slightest bit of heat in it from the jalapenos. It really tastes like a spicy apple sauce with the creamy sweet apple texture. I'd say that this sauce would go really good on like a burger or a sandwich or a wrap. The next sauce I have here is called Wasabi Tabby. Looks like that demon cat just set his house on fire. But for ingredients, it has tamatillos, white wine vinegar, jalapeno peppers, horseradish, green peppers, garlic, habanero peppers, mustard powder, and a few other things. Smells just like wasabi. It tastes just like wasabi too. To be honest, I'm not really a fan of wasabi or horseradish, but the horseradish flavor in this is so subtle that it makes the sauce a lot more enjoyable for me. This is a great combination of wasabi sauce and hot sauce. Like I said, the horseradish flavor isn't really overpowering, uh, neither is the hot sauce flavor, but there is a real great flavor of jalapeno and a slight flavor of habanero as well. Since this is a spicier version of a wasabi or horseradish sauce, I would just use this uh, whenever you use horseradish or wasabi if you want to just uh, kick the heat up a notch. I think it would be good on a rice dish or a sandwich or uh, maybe a wrap. So next up for Meow That's Hot, we have Manx Mangler. This sauce is so hot, it made that cat's head explode. For ingredients, it has wine vinegar, strawberries, red pepper, habanero pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, and some other stuff. You can smell the sweet scent of strawberries and just a hint of mint. This sauce tastes a lot different than it smells. Because of the strawberry scent, I figured the sauce would be a lot sweeter, but it's actually a lot hotter than I expected. When I first taste the sauce, I really get the heat and the flavor of the habanero and scotch bonnet peppers. And the strawberry is more of a pleasant sweet aftertaste. I think this sauce would be really good with breakfast foods, but it seems like it would be a very versatile sauce. It'd be good on almost anything. This sauce would be great on a stir fry, or maybe some pasta. I might even give it a try in some ice cream. So the last sauce I have here from Meow That's Hot is called Ghost Cat. Don't tell anyone, but I don't think that's a real ghost. I think it's just a cat in a ghost costume. For ingredients, it has wine vinegar, pears, jalapeno pepper, ghost pepper, and some other things. In this one, I can really smell the jalapenos, the garlic, and the turmeric. Ghost Cat starts off with a real sweet flavor, 
and then the heat creeps in in the aftertaste. Ghost Cat seems to be like the opposite of the Manx Mangler. The Manx Mangler starts off hot, and then you get more of a sweet aftertaste, where this one starts off really sweet, and then you get the heat in the aftertaste. To be honest, since this one has ghost peppers in it, it's not really as hot as I expected. But the Manx Mangler, it's actually a lot hotter than I expected. Ghost Cat is really good sweet sauce though, and I'd probably use it on things like pancakes or waffles. I'd probably be more likely to use this on ice cream than the Manx Mangler. These sauces from Meow That's Hot are all really good. I'd say the Fire Kitty and the Manx Mangler are probably the most versatile of the sauces. I think you could use those sauces on a lot of things. The Ghost Cat is a really sweet ghost pepper sauce, so if you're just getting into ghost pepper level, uh, that might be a good one to start off with. If I gotta pick a favorite flavor out of the four, I'd probably go with the Fire Kitty myself. I just think it has a really great combination of apple flavor and jalapeno flavor. And it is a little bit hotter than I expected from the jalapeno sauce. I'd say my favorite overall out of the four though, has to be the Manx Mangler. It's got a really great flavor to it and it's gotta be the hottest out of the four. Thank you for watching this episode of Hot Reviews. I truly appreciate all you subscribers. Thank you for all your likes, all your views, and all your comments. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll see you next time.